a beautiful night here at Hawkins High School. We have the 2023 Hawkins Men's Lacrosse Senior Night. First up, our visiting Westwood Wolverines. Uh, number 13, Ryan Gaffney. Number 6, Brendan Barneran. Number 7, Troy Fredrickson. Number 3, Timmy Malloy. Number 4, Donald Barneri. Number 23, Jack Roycroft. Number 5, Jack McManus. Number 17, Holden Williamson. Number 24, Kyle Harvey. And starting in that, number 1, Caleb Woodward. Next up, your Hopkinton Hellers. Number 15, Cooper Goodman. Number 77, Logan Del Ponte. Number 24, Connor Sullivan. Number 17, Owen Kelly. Number 7, Will Rockwell. Number two, Jack Preventure. Go Rock! Number four, Braden Yoakum. Number 16, Joe Doyle. Number 19, Wyatt Iandoska. Starting in that, number 25, Nate Burns. All right, please remove your hats for our national anthem. The flag is over behind the scoreboard. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into the Hopkinton High School turf fields. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. They are celebrating senior night tonight, and they have a big game against the Westwood Wolverines. The Hopkinton Hillers currently nine and seven on the season. Here as we enter the home finale and Westwood 13 and 3. Both teams are Division 2 and will both likely have playoff spots. Hopkinton is currently the 29th seed. Top 32 automatically get in and in fact both teams will definitely have playoff spots since the Hillers will finish 500 or above so even if they somehow fell out of the top 32 they will get in anyway westwood is the 13th seed so both teams trying to fight for seeding by picking up a win here today and the hillers looking for some revenge after falling to westwood on april 12th in westwood eight to one wolverines are in their green jerseys they control off the face off hillers in the white jersey as there's a shot and it's wide 
And just in case you are worried that you missed Senior Day festivities, you did not. They will be doing those after the game. So we will have the Senior Day ceremony following the game. And we'll have it live tonight right here on HCAM. Wolverines in control taking a shot. Good save by Burns. And that shot by Troy Fredrickson, a sophomore for Westwood. And you heard the starting lineups before the game as ProVenture rushing up the field. ProVenture gets it over to Sanda. Hillers going to be patient here. They know they need to cherish their possessions in this one. As they work it along the far side, up to Del Ponte, over to Sanda. Del Ponte with it, trying to close in. Back to Sanda he goes. Hiller is just testing that Westwood defense early on, trying to see if they can find any holes along the far side. And it's knocked loose. Battle for it along the sideline. Picked up by the Hillers. Luke Bodette keeps possession. Bodette gets it over. And we're going to have a penalty here as Del Ponte was taking it to the far side. It's going to be against Westwood. They're going to get Ryan Erdos. I believe it was a cross check call. So he will take a knee for a minute, and the Hillers will have the man advantage. Big opportunity here to get things started off right. Hiller is led by head coach Dan Norton. He has done a terrific job with a team that is fairly young, only uh, four seniors on this year's Hiller team. Out to Bodette. Bodette trying to work the defender, gets it over. And there is a shot attempt by Del Ponte. It's blocked by a defender. Hiller's maintained possession, however, Good pick up there by Kelly. Hiller's working it along the near side. Out in front, shot in! And the Hillers take advantage of the man advantage. Luke Bodette strikes at 9.23 left to go in the first quarter. A 1-0 Hiller lead. We'll call it a power play goal. Will Rockwell in the faceoff circle up against Brandon Wang. And the Hillers get things started off right. Well, they've already matched their total amount of goals from the last time they bet up with Westwood. And loose ball near side, picked up by Rockwell. Good job by the sideline, letting him know it was loose. Doyle gets it over to Ian Tosca. And Ian Tosca fires it up the field, picked up by Del Ponte. He has some open space, gets it over. Goodman trying to pick it up. Oh, out of play along the side, Westwood ball. Good JV battle between Hopkinton and Westwood before this game. Westwood ended up taking it four to three, but the Hillers came storming back late in that game and nearly pulled it out. Westwood trying to close in. There's a shot, great save by Burns. That was Jack Roycroft on the shot. Along the end line. Actually, it is going to go to Westwood. Varnerin will bring it, bring it into play. Here goes Varnerin. 
Gets it out. Martucci closing in. He'll bounce a shot. Good save by Burns. Westwood maintains. Out in front. Knocked loose. Battle for it. And it, the battle continues. I would not want to be in the middle of that. Hillers come out with it. Joe Doyle picks it up. Great turnover there by the Hillers. Oh, and a Westwood Wolverine sneaking up on Nate Burns as Varnerin closed in behind him. It will stay with the Hillers. Bodette with it at midfield, gets it over to Sanda. Sun's starting to set here, and pretty soon the lights will be on here at the Hopkins and High School turf fields. Bodet looking to close in. Sanda along the near side. Sanda gets it over, shot wide by Del Ponte. Well, good back and forth battle so far between these two teams. Westwood with it. And a discussion amongst the officials. I think they're trying to decide whose possession it should be. It will indeed stay with the Wolverines. Caleb Woodworth, their keeper, has it. Gets it up the field over to Max O'Brien. Your goaltender matchup, Cooper, uh, Caleb Woodworth. Up against Neat Burns for the Hillers. With it is Varnerin. Varnerin trying to close in from the far side. Takes the shot off the crossbar and out of play along the sideline. It will stay with Westwood. What a shot that was by Varnerin trying to go top shelf. Got denied by the crossbar. Max O'Brien with it. Gets it behind the net. Fredrickson gets it over to Cochran. Sam Cochran with it. Takes it and puts it in. We are knotted up at one apiece. A nice goal there by the freshman, Sam Cochran. At 6.22 left to go in the first quarter. I'm expecting a battle out here today. Will Rockwell up against Brandon Wang in the face-off circle. And Westwood will control. Gaffney with it. Gaffney approaching. Gets it over. Pass out to Varnerin. Closing in and puts it in. Don Varnerin, the senior, makes it two to one. Well, a good strike there by Westwood and face off. Face offs are going to be very important in this matchup. Trying to get control certainly don't do not want to let this Wolverines team go on a big run loose ball Westwood controls picked up by Varnerin gets it over to Gaffney Gaffney with it along the far side and he's just waiting for Westwood to sub in now that everybody's in there, he'll look for an attack. Approaching, and it's wide. Getting to the back line is Jack Roycroft. It'll stay with Westwood. 
Roycroft was just waiting by that back line. And here he comes. Drawing some checks. And there's a shot deflected by Burns. Good save there off the Gaffney shot. Picked up by Proventure. Burns gets it over to Del Ponte. Hiller's looking to work their way towards the attack zone and it's gonna go to Westwood. Here comes the Wolverines. Quickly approaching, shot ripped in by Varnerin. He has his second score of this young game. The score comes at exactly five minutes left to go in the first quarter and just like that, Westwood's up three to one. Well, the Hillers got off to a good start, but now Westwood trying to pour it on. Off the face-off into Westwood territory it goes. Wolverines have it, picked up by Varnerin. Along the far side of Brandon Varnerin. I'm going to assume they are brothers. With it is Liam Williams as he'll wait for Westwood to sub in. Williams looking to approach, gets it over, shot high. And that was a good job, good defense there by Proventure, getting his net out in front of Pizzuto to deflect that shot. Westwood is to the back line, they have it. Roy Croft looking to bring it in, approaching. Out in front and pops it in. Jack Roycroft burning by the defender makes it four to one Westwood. That score comes at 417. Left to go here in the first quarter. The Wolverines looking to end this one early. Proventure up against Tim Malloy in the faceoff circle. Hiller's going to switch it up, see if they have any more success. It is awarded to Westwood. And here comes the Wolverines back on the attack. Well, I'll tell you one thing that makes this Westwood team so impressive. They're just a very tough offense to figure out. And certainly a lot of talent and speed as well. Martucci with it, looking to approach. Gets it over. Out in front, shot high and wide by Gaffney. Put in by Roycroft. Out to Cochran. Gets it over. Along the far side, Varner in. Roy Croft gets it out, and that shot deflected. Good defense in front of the net by the Hillers as they deflect the Martucci shot. The Hillers, they need to figure out how to get someone along that back line to try to draw some of these turnovers. Gets it out to Gaffney. Knocked down, loose ball. Hillers get the turnover. Picked up by Yoakum. Nate Burns with it. Goes up the middle and a missed opportunity there by Sanda. Westwood gets the turnover. Shot wide by Varnerin. Troy Fredrickson puts it into play. Over to Varnerin, and that shot deflected. And it's going to the Hillers. Joe Doyle getting to the back line. 
Approaching two and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Hillers could certainly use a score, but a turnover here as it's knocked loose by Brandon Varneren. I'll tell you, Brandon and Don Varneren, they're the two players to watch for Westwood as that shot's wide by Don. I believe they're also uh, on the Westwood hockey team as well. Wolverines bring it into play. Roy Croft up the far side. Now to Williams, knocked loose. Hillers have it. Picked up by Yoakum. And Coach Norton wants a timeout. He'll get it. 2.05 left to go in the first quarter. Westwood four, Hopkinton Hillers one. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse Senior Night coverage on HCAM. Welcome back into the Hopkinton High School turf fields. And I have a bit of a correction. There are actually six seniors on the Hiller roster, not four, as I mentioned originally. Please pardon my counting skills. Hillers with possession off the timeout. Champlin looking to take it in. Let's see what Coach Norton drew up. Fires it out, shot, and what the plan worked. Luke Bodet makes it four to two. A great feed and a great shot by Bodet. And boy, did that timeout pay off. That score comes at 146 left to go in the first quarter. Well, maybe that timeout will be the momentum changer for the Hillers. Will Rockwell in the face-off circle up against Brandon Wang. Loose ball, still loose. And a good battle for it. In the Hiller territory. And knocked loose once again. Brandon Wang taking a hard check there. And Westwood comes up with it, picked up by none other than Don Varn Varnerin. There's a shot, and it's wide by Brandon Varnerin. Troy Fredrickson puts it into play. And picked up by Sanda. Sanda trying to get it to midfield. It comes loose, but regathered by Carney. As we approach a minute left to go in the quarter. Carney gets it over. And loose once again, Westwood gets it. He was looking to get it to Bo dead a little wide and Varnerin able to swipe it up. Don Varnerin with it, gets it over to Williams. Liam Williams gets it behind the net. Now back out to Williams. Williams gonna try to take it around here. Scoots it up the far side, it's loose. Picked up by Westwood, Gaffney. And let's see, was it knocked out of play? It looks like we're getting a call here. Uh, are we? Nope, okay. All right, it's gonna be Westwood ball. Jack Roycroft with it. I think it was, the, the stoppage was because the Westwood uh, player with the ball was bumped out of bounds. 
13 seconds left on the clock. Westwood going to look for a buzzer beater here. Or will they just hold on to it? Don Varner in with it. it looks like he's just going to hang on to it, let the quarter run out. At the end of the first, it is Westwood 4, the Hopkinton Hillers 2. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Start of the second quarter, a 4-2 Westwood lead. Wolverines have possession, working right to left across your screen. Once again, for those of you just joining us, it's Westwood in the green jerseys, Hillers in the white. Hillers scored the first goal of the game, and then Westwood came back with four straight goals before Luke Bodet made it a 4-2 game with a minute 46 left to go. Wolverines looking for another score here, and they will get it. Don Varnerin with a hat trick already. That score comes at 11.29 left to go, and Hillers were shorthanded for that goal, so shorthanded goal there for... Or, I should say a power play goal there for uh, Westwood. Five to two game done. Varner, in quite an impressive shot. And he's just a great all around athlete, but a very exceptional lacrosse player. As Will Rockwell looks to work it up the near side as the Hillers looking to strike back. Santa gets it over. And a play along the side, Westwood ball. This is indeed our last regular season game, believe it or not. It'll be postseason time. The brackets are expected out for lacrosse, baseball, and softball. Not, they're not coming out actually till next Wednesday. So the first playoff games will either be the following weekend or early in the following week. We will certainly keep you posted. Stay locked in to hcam.tv where we will post all of the Hiller playoff updates. Wolverines looking to strike. Big hit deliver there. That's gonna draw a flag as Roycroft was getting into the attack zone. I believe the penalty is going to be against uh, Andrew. Or actually, was that O'Brien with the penalty? Let's see. It's going to be a, an illegal push. It was uh, Andrew Peters. Andrew Peters, one of the six seniors on the Hiller roster, who will be recognized after the game. Other seniors include Peter DeMichele, Braden Hicks, Luke Bodette. Joe Doyle and Dylan Prefontaine. Wolverines with possession. They'll work it around and look for that open gap. Roy Croft out in front. Pass over now to Varnerin. And there's a snipe and wow, an impressive shot there. Don Varner and goes long distance and puts that in stick side. Well, that's the dangerous thing about this Westwood team is you got a guy like Don Varner in who could just snipe it from pretty much anywhere along the attack zone. You don't see a lot of guys try that long distance shot 
not a lot of guys could do it. But Don Varneren certainly can. Picked up by the Hillers, collected by Ian Tosca. Pass up by Burns along the far side it goes. And it's going to be Westwood ball as it goes out of play. Varnerin gets it over to Pizzuto. You get Don Varnerin in there and Brandon Varnerin, two guys that you won't see come out of the game a whole lot. 6 2 Westwood lead. And they are looking to take full control of this one. Gaffney with it. Gets it over. Well, this Wolverines lacrosse program, they have been impressive for, very impressive for many years. They are just constantly one of the best in the state. As that shot is wide by Fredrickson. Stays with Westwood. Here goes Braden Varnerin. There's a shot deflected. Good save there by Burns. Hillers have it coming up the far side. And the sun just at the right angle now to completely blind me. Hillers trying to work their way into the attack zone. Del Ponte gets it over. It's Champlin along the far side. And pass up back to Champlin from Goodman. On the near side, Del Ponte. Kelly back to Del Ponte. There's Bodette. Over to Champlin. And down to Goodman. Just under eight minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Hillers really want a goal here. Bodette looking to approach, takes it. And a good save by Caleb Woodworth. It was a great shot, but very impressive save. Pizzuto up the far side, gets it over. Behind the net with it, Fredrickson takes it out. Out in front, loose ball. Picked up by Williams. Liam Williams along the far side with it. Westwood subbing in. Looking to approach. Gets it over as they'll work it around. Out in front now. Big hit delivered, there's a shot wide by O'Brien and we have a flag. It's gonna be against the Hillers. It's gonna be an unnecessary roughness call. And against Dylan Prefontaine. So he takes an E for a minute and the Hiller is short-handed. There's a shot wide by Fredrickson. Wolverines put it back into play. And they have no reason to rush here. There's a shot just wide by Varnerin. That was Brandon Varnerin on that one. Wolverines maintain possession as we approach six minutes left to go in the first half. And it's knocked down out in front. 
And Burns gonna scoop it up. Good save there. I wanna say that was Roycroft who got the shot off. Hiller is looking to work it back up the field and you know they're probably gonna utilize a, a timeout or two as this quarter. Hey, we get a turnover. It was swiped up by Brandon Varner and he got it out in front of the net to Jack Roycroft. And Roycroft able to take advantage of the open opportunity. He was just left wide open in front of the net and Westwood strikes again. A seven to two Wolverines lead. Well, that was a good turnover there, but, and it's gonna go to Westwood. It looked like the Hillers were gonna get it off the face off, but not so much. Brandon Varner in with it, gets it out to Liam Williams. Well, this Westwood group, they, uh, they've they been playing together for quite a while, very experienced team, and they are looking to do big things in the postseason this year. Five minutes and counting left to go. With it is Martucci. He's going to approach. Wolverines working it around. Taking it out and the shot is wide by Tim Malloy. Or correction, that was uh, Troy Fredrickson. Westwood maintains possession. Knocked out of the grasp of Varnerin. Now it's knocked loose from Proventure, and Varnerin gets it back. Wolverines continuing to maintain their possessions very well. Liam Williams approaching. Shot in. Liam Williams with the smooth moves pops it in. At 4.17 left to go in the second quarter. An 8-2 Westwood lead. Will Rockwell up against Brandon Wang in the Face-off circle. Knocked loose, who's gonna get it? And the Hiller is able to swipe it up. Good job by Ian Tosca. Ian Tosca up the far side with it. Knocked loose. Ian Tosca knocking it forward. Still loose. It goes to Westwood. Approaching, a nice feed, and that shot deflected. It was Roy Croft feeding Fredrickson in front, and it's deflected away. Hillers get it back. Here comes Cole Carney. Actually, he's coming out of the game. Putting it, it into play is John Sanda. Burns with it. Along the near side, two Bodet. Knocked loose. Picked up by Westwood as Kyle Harvey has it. It'll go back to the Hillers. Bodet gets it over. Owen Kelly. Out to Del Ponte. Looking for the shot, and it's a save. Sam O'Brien on the shot. Good save there by Woodworth. Wolverines work it in towards the attack zone. Fredrickson with it along the far side. Goes behind the net with it over to Roycroft. 
Looking to approach, and he puts it in. Jack Roycroft with his third goal of the day. That comes at 2.36 left to go here in the first half. Well, there was going to be a too many men call against the Hillers, but it was wiped out by the goal. Westwood has it, picked up by Malloy. Well, Westwood certainly brought their A game here today. Don Varner in with it. Warner in along the far side, trying to work his way in, gets it out. Out in front, pass back to Fredrickson from Gaffney. Fredrickson along the far side. Gets it out, shot, and it's wide by Gaffney. Wolverines maintain possession. Just under two minutes left to go here in the first half. Looking to approach. Knocked loose out in front. And scooped up by Burns. Gets it out. And Westwood gets the turnover. I'll tell you what, we're not seeing the great ball control we typically see from the Siller team. They need to be more careful with their passes. Hiller is working up the far side. Joe Doyle with it. And a timeout call by Coach Norton. At 106 left to go. In the first half, it's Westwood 9, the Hillers 2 on H camp. A 9 to 2 Westwood lead. 106 left to go here in the first half. Hillers with possession off the timeout. Well, the timeout worked very well for the Hillers last time. Let's see uh, what Coach Norton drew up here. Champlin with it. Gets it over and fires wide at Del Ponte, and it's going to Westwood. Not what they envisioned there. Well, you have to have very precise passing to Pretty much stay in the game with this Westwood team. And the Hillers do get a turnover along the far side. Hicks with it. We're going to have a flag. We'll see who it's on. It's going to be a delayed penalty call. Gets it out to Del Ponte. Del Ponte off the post. And that was quite a shot by Del Ponte, but off the post it goes. It's going to be against Westwood for an illegal push. It's Dante Martucci, the guilty party, and Westwood wants a timeout. So Wolverine's going to be shorthanded for the next minute. Hillers with a big opportunity, but only 13 seconds left to go in the first half. A 9-2 game on H camp. Off the Westwood timeout, 13 seconds left to go. It's Hiller ball. We're here in the second quarter. 
Nine to two Westwood lead. Hiller is looking to approach with it is Del Ponte. And that'll do it for the first half. Certainly not the half the Hillers envisioned, but they have another half to go to try to get back into this game. At the end of two quarters of play, it's Westwood nine, the Hopkinton Hillers two. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Welcome back in to Hopkinton High School Turf Fields. We are just about ready for the second half of this boys lacrosse matchup between the Hillers and Westwood. A 9-2 Westwood lead as we enter the second half. But we do have some great Hiller news. Hiller baseball just got a walk-off victory against the Franklin Panthers. Franklin, the number one ranked team in the state. And the Hillers get a walk off in the bottom of the eighth. Dylan Ruff doubled on a two and two count pitch and scored two runs with the double to give the Hillers the victory over the Franklin Panthers. A 10 to nine final in that game. Very impressive stuff by Dylan Ruff. The Hillers were trailing heading into the bottom of the seventh. They scored three runs to tie it up. Franklin played two runs on the top of the eighth. So once again, things weren't looking great for the Hillers, but then the Hillers ended up scoring three runs on the bottom of the eighth inning to take the win. 10 to 9 over in the Pedroli tournament against Franklin. What a win by Hiller Baseball this evening. As the Hillers looking for a score here, good save off the Logan Del Ponte shot by Caleb Woodworth. And we're glad to see Caleb Woodworth back into the game doing okay. He uh, was a little shooken up towards the end of the first half. 15 seconds left on the penalty that was assessed against Westwood. And we have another flag down, so we're going to get another call coming up here. But Westwood about to burn off their shorthanded situation. Fredrickson with it as we approach 11 minutes left to go. I certainly would have... Love to have been there for that Hiller walk-off win over Franklin. That is super impressive. And Hiller baseball, they are just getting white hot at the right time. And they have just picked up big win after big win as we head into the postseason. They're getting hot at exactly the right time. Westwood approaching. That shot from Liam Williams deflected. And speaking of Westwood, the Hiller baseball team got a huge walk-off win against uh, Westwood Tuesday night. We we're happy to have Steve, former Hiller head coach and Hall of Famer Steve Simos on the call. And John Ritz got to witness it as well, the tremendous walk-off win by Hiller baseball. It was absolutely fantastic, and Hiller softball getting a nice win over Westwood that evening, pretty much as the baseball game was happening. The softball game actually ended a little earlier, and then the, the entire softball team was gathered along the wall of the outfield to watch uh, the conclusion of what ended up being a tremendous baseball game. It was just a great atmosphere. And uh, incredible win by Hiller Baseball, and they get another incredible win today uh, over in Natick at the Pedroli Tournament as they take down the Franklin Panthers. So they'll be going to the Pedroli Tournament Championship. Loose ball out in front. 
Hillers have it. Hillers in the white jerseys. Westwood in the green for those of you just joining us. Tom Nappy on the call. John Ritz on camera. Happy to be with you for this senior night game. The senior day festivities will be following the game as Hiller is working in their offensive zone. They could certainly use some scores. Hiller's doing a nice job on this possession at keeping control. O'Brien with it, gets it over. Pass up the far side. Look behind the net, Del Ponte. Del Ponte out in front, shot, and a little high there by O'Brien. Wolverine's going to take it up the far side. Looking to approach. Runner and takes it back out. Cochran with it. Gets it over, bringing it out is Roycroft. Just under eight minutes left to go here in this third quarter as that shot is wide by Max O'Brien. Wolverines will take it in from the far side. And I'll Approaching and put in. A nice score there by Jack Roycroft. That's his fourth goal of the evening. And Westwood up big, 10 to two at 7.31. Left to go in the third quarter. The sun uh, beginning to set, hopefully uh, sooner than later, as it is setting right in our eyes here, up the as we face the uh, right side of the field. Picked up along the far side by Del Ponte. Over to Goodman. Now to O'Brien. Bodette with it. Bodette looking to approach. And that shot deflected and it's a great save there by Woodworth. Up the middle to Gaffney. Now along the near side of Fredrickson. Fredrickson, nice pass, and that shot is deflected. And that was Jack Roycroft once again on the shot. Good defense in front of the net by the Hillers. And John Ritz doing his best to film. We are dealing with some sun issues here at the turf fields. O'Brien with it. Approaching and it's knocked loose. He picks it back up, however. Gets it over to Champlin. Champlin up the far side. Del Ponte with it. Gets it out. 
Over to Bodette. But once again, what an incredible win today by the Aylor baseball team over in Natick against Franklin. That, that shot is wide in the Pajoli tournament. They take down Franklin in eight innings, a walk off in the bottom of the eighth. And the Hillers won 10 to nine. Looking to approach. Nice feed, that shot is scooped up by the keeper. There's a good feed of Del Ponte from Goodman, but a nice save by Woodworth, and here comes Westwood. That shot deflected. Fredrickson trying to sneak one in. 4.51 left to go in the third quarter. I'll tell you what though, this uh, second half so far looking a lot more clean for the Hillers. They are defending well and much better ball control so far. Pizzuto gets it over to Martucci. Martucci going to take his time here. Looking to approach. And sneaks it in. Martucci with a nice score there. And he just snuck that one underneath. Nate Burns. And he makes it an 11 to 2 game in favor of Westwood. 416 left to go in the third quarter. Westwood wins on the faceoff, picked up by Malloy. Liam Williams with it now. Gets it over. Back to Malloy. O'Brien. Gets it back to Liam Williams. Just under four minutes left to go here in this third quarter. Westwood looking to put the running clock into motion. If they shall score once again here. Actually, that's only for the fourth quarter, I believe. That would uh, take effect. Williams with it. Gets it over. Up behind the net. That is Varnerin. Varner in, looking to approach. Some good defense. Hiller's staying close to Varner in. They don't want to give him any more opportunities. The thing is, the Hillers, they've done a decent job at taking Varner in out of the game, but when you take him out of the game, you got those other weapons like Jack Roycroft you got to worry about. The Hiller's defending so far a lot better than they did in the first half. Along the far side, Brandon Varnerin gets it out. Along the near side, that's Max Pollock. Knocked loose. It's going to be taken by the Hillers. Joe Doyle collects. That pass is wide, batted in the air by Sanda. Knocked loose. And knocked down by Varnerin. Ian Tosca up to Sanda. Gets it over to Champlin. Out in front, shot in! Luke Bodette strikes for the Hillers. A well needed score there. The goal comes out, 146 left to go, and makes it an 11 to three game. Luke Bodette 
He is a hat trick today. Scored the very first goal of the game. Also a goal towards the end of the first quarter that made it four to two. And scores one here to make it 11 to three. Wolverines look to respond. And a great save by Burns. Well, Ryan Gaffney broke up the field, but Burns denies him. Here comes the Hillers. Doyle underhands it to O'Brien. Now behind the net. Trying to get it out in front was Goodman. He'd like to have that pass back. Westwood with the turnover. A pass just a little bit wide. Roy Croft along the far side with it. One minute left to go in the quarter. Looking to approach, knocked loose. Hillers have it. Picked up by Hicks. Now along the far side is Ian Tosca with it. He'll fire it up. And Westwood's gonna get it back here, knocked loose and taken by Pizzuto. Zudo gets it over to Fredrickson. Now out in front. Let's see if Westwood takes a buzzer beater here. Liam Williams gets it out to Don Varnerin. Now out in front, Pizzuto. And Ryan Pizzuto. Swipes it in. A nice shot there by Pizzuto at four seconds. Left to go in the third quarter to make it 12 to three in favor of Westwood. Well, that's what the Wolverines were looking to achieve there. And a long distance shot, pretty good long distance shot. Ended up being saved by Woodworth, by uh, Champlin at the end of three quarters of play. It is Westwood 12, the Hillers three. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Welcome back into the Hopkinton High School turf fields. We are ready for the fourth quarter. It's a 12 to three Westwood lead. As the lights are coming on here at the turf fields, they just came on to start the fourth quarter. Don't forget to stay tuned after the game concludes. We will have the senior day ceremony Streaming live right here on HCAM. Hiller is going to celebrate six seniors on their roster. Luke Bodette, Braden Hicks, Joe Doyle, Dylan Prefontaine, and Andrew Peters, as well as Peter DeMichele. Wolverines with possession, working right to left across your screen in their green jerseys. Hiller's in the white. Tom Nappy happy to be with you on the call. John Ritz on camera. Max O'Brien approaching, gets it over. That shot wide. Westwood trying to put the running clock in effect. They lead by nine. 10 point lead would do that. Pizzuto gets it over to O'Brien. Fredrickson out to Pizzuto. But the Hillers don't want that. They want to hang around, try to work their way back into this. Varnerin out to Pizzuto. Up 
Behind the net, Fredrickson. Putting on the moves. Trying to feed it out. Gets by his intended target, Martucci. It is picked up along the sideline by O'Brien. Some good hustle getting there. Pizzuto. Gets it out to O'Brien. Bartucci with it. Approaching, boxed out, gets it over. Here's Pizzuto. Pizzuto rushing up the far side. Gets it over to O'Brien. Just under 10 minutes left to go here in this fourth quarter. O'Brien with the feed to Gaffney. Gaffney looking to approach. Out in front, shot in. Troy Fredrickson. Fredrick Sid makes it 13 to three at 9.22 left to go. I should have been running clock, but they're not running it. Oh, that's the 100th goal from Troy Fredrickson we are hearing. So a big congratulations to Troy Fredrickson with his 100th goal. He's only a sophomore. So uh, I think by the time his high school career is all said and done, he'll be at the 200 mark. Here comes the Wolverines looking for another one. Behind the net, Nate Burns. And Burns going to take it out. Gets it over to the far side. A pass up to ProVenture. Sando with it. Looking to approach. That's Bo that's Bodette with it. Excuse me. Gets it over to O'Brien. Now Santa has it. Santa driving it. Feeds it over to Goodman. O'Brien. Bodette. That shot is scooped up by Woodworth. Well, in case you're looking for something to do this weekend, you can go check out the Hillers in the Hiller Baseball on the Pajoli Championship on Saturday. Time to be determined. As they defeated Franklin in extra innings with a walk-off in the bottom of the eighth. After coming back three down in the bottom of the seventh and coming back two down. In the bottom of the eighth, a walk off by Dylan Ruff. Gives the Hillers the win over the number one team in the state. Unbelievable, congratulations to Coach Anderson and the Hiller baseball team. Sanda with it, feeds it, looking to feed it behind the net, gets by Del Ponte, he'll pick it up. Kelly feeds it over, Sanda to Champlin. Champlin approaching and puts it in. Oh, 
And Champlin gets the Hillers within nine. The score comes at 7.07 left. Well, this Westwood team very talented, 13 and three on the season. Hiller's very talented as well, but this Wolverines group has been together for the last couple of years and looking to make a big run in the postseason, and it is certainly a tall task to take on this Westwood team. Up the middle and scooped up by Burns. Hillers looking to take advantage of this possession as they will Work it around and look for an opening. Looking to approach, Sanda gets it over to Bodet. Behind the net, bringing it out, Del Ponte, and that shot's wide. Owen Kelly able to get to the back line. That up the far side. Hiller's going to take their time here. Taking it out, Bodette, and he tries to fire one in, and well defended by the Westwood goalkeeper, Woodworth. Hiller's doing a nice job at maintaining this possession. Now approaching Del Ponte, and it is off the side of the net. Picked up by Woodworth. Hiller's playing for pride at this point. Wolverines were able to capitalize, especially in the second period as they outscored the Hillers five to nothing that period, or that quarter. Pollock brushes it up the far side. Well, the Wolverines last year, they ended up uh, winning a couple playoff games before falling in the final four, or the round of eight, excuse me, to Redding. And they are looking to take it a step further this postseason as this is the final home game for the Hillers and regular season play is wrapping up. And it's pretty amazing that 81% of the TVL in the ranked sports is in the top 32. That shows you how strong the TVL is as a whole. And that includes baseball, softball, and lacrosse, as well as tennis. I believe it was 54 out of 62 teams in those sports in the TVL are in the t are ranked in the top 32. So 81% of the TVL will be in the postseason, essentially. Very impressive. 
And actually, it may even be a little more than that, considering some teams that aren't in the top 32 could get in as well. Williams along the far side with it, just under three minutes left to go. Westwood is going to take the win here in this senior day game for the Hillers. But it was a good battle. And uh, the Hillers uh, certainly showed some improvements from the last time they met up with this Westwood team. And this Westwood group, very experienced group, unlike the Hillers, who are a relatively young team. Pizzuto trying to come out with it. Only six seniors on the Hiller roster. Looking to approach, Cochran gets it over. And next up for us will be playoffs. Certainly stay locked in to hcam.tv to find out what playoff games we will bring you here on HCAM. And it looks, it's looking like if all stays uh, the same that all the Hiller Spring Sports teams will get into the postseason. So we are certainly crossing our fingers and hoping that will be the case. Knocked loose, picked up, and that is off the crossbar. No goal there by Pollock. He thought he had it, started celebrating a little premature there. And here comes the Hillers. A minute left. And don't forget, we remind you, stay tuned after this game concludes for the Senior Day Ceremony. Hopkinton will be celebrating their six seniors. Baudet with a shot, and that's deflected. Picked up by Del Ponte, scoots it out, and it is taken by Westwood, where they will look to burn the clock. And maybe sneak one in as well, let's see. And they will, why not? Big push after that. Actually, no, that is not a goal, excuse me. It was wide. Ends up being a nice defensive play there by the Hillers. That one wide by Sanda. Nine seconds left. Yeah, Westwood just gonna hang on to it, let the clock run and take the victory. Westwood Wolverines going to take down the Hopkinton Hillers by a final score of 13 to four. Westwood improves to 14 and three. Hillers fall to nine and eight. And we look forward to the postseason where both of these teams will be. Well, it's been a pleasure bringing you Hopkinton Hiller Sports all spring long. And we look forward to continuing our coverage into the playoffs. But for John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time, Westwood over the Hillers by a final score of 13 to four. I'm going to step aside, but coming up next, we will have the senior day coverage. So stick around for the senior day ceremony coming up next right here on HCAM.
Banquet too, but so incredibly proud of this class okay, for bringing our culture back. Okay, uh, you know, just the way they do everything. Number 16, Joe Dingles.
Up next, we have number 99, Andrew Peters. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew's presenting to his mother, Anya. Andrew will be attending Elon University to study finance. His favorite memories were the spaggers at the Burns House. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, okay, we have our amazing manager, Maya Ghosh. Hey, what up, Ghosh? Hey, Maya. Maya.